This is all fictional. sort of semi-series of um, Collar X Malice. I just wanted to show you guys the main screen up front first because your girl has an announcement. So I was reached out by a team that works with Axis Games and they reached out to me asking me if I wanted to play any of their Otome games and little do they know I'm actually a big fan of the franchise and as a whole, like the company as a whole. And I freaked the fuck out. <laughs> I freaked out a lot and I was graciously given the current games they have currently on the Switch. If you guys don't know, they originally have these games on the PS Vita, which I have physical copies of. I also actually have physical copies of these games as well. But I, I just took the digital because, you know, it's just as easy. Um, they've graciously given me two codes for each of these games to give away to you guys. So... How I'm going to do it is um, for each start of the series, like currently we're going to focus on Caller X Malice this time around. So I have two codes for Caller X Malice to give away to you guys. I'm not going to tell you to be like, oh, go follow, blah, 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 blah. No, just comment anything that you want and then like a way I can reach you, like your social media. I'm probably going to pull out the, the winners probably a week from this video being uploaded and I'll just personally DM you on either Twitter or Instagram or hopefully <laughs> uh, those are the only two ways I could think of to, to reach out to you or just your I don't put your email actually I don't want people like spamming your email stuff but I am so excited because I <laughs> once I saw that email and I saw access games and then would you like I was like oh yes please this is actually so excited I don't want to take up too much time just being fangirling over this moment but I just wanted to fangirl over this moment so anyway I'm gonna start with Caller X Malice because this is the most recent game that has been ported to the switch um Code Realize, Guardian of Rebirth and Future Blessings were initially released I think in last year I know Guardian Rebirth was last year. I don't know if Future Blessings was last year as well, but we're going to play these next. The only thing I can't do is do a full playthrough. Um, I'm required to only, like, I have to stop at four hours to avoid any spoilers to hope that this will influence you to buy the game. And I don't want to step on any toes, especially with how kind they have to give me codes and give codes to you guys as well. I don't want to, I don't want to burn any bridges <laughs> when I, I just got this but anyway it's gonna be like um the Oz Mafia situation where I could only play up to a certain part uh where like to not get any copyright infringement that's what they told me that they don't want me to get any copyright infringement um so my cap is four hours of gameplay and I'm only allowed to choose one love interest <laughs> so that's gonna be quite tough I don't know how far we can get within four hours but we're gonna do it but yes definitely if you want to enter the giveaway just write anything that you want and leave your social media so that i can dm you for the code there will be two winners in each of the games <sighs> i'm so excited i'm so so excited ah oh, i'm so honored i need to stop then girling once we get to the main screen, I'm going to read to you guys about what the Caller X Malice is. Oh, the cool intro. Oh, I pray this is not copyright. <laughs> if it is, I'll still show this. Is this going to be copyright free music? I kind of want to low-key make you guys guess who I go for. <laughs> side characters <laughs> they're so 
good looking. <laughs> Uh, to, let, let me clarify this. I have not played this game yet. <laughs> I have other games in PS Vita form. The only one I actually played is uh, New York. Uh, I'll post a photo da, here da, da. to show you guys which one I actually like played because I have had no time. But anyway, that intro was pretty badass. I hope the song wasn't copyright so then you guys can hear how badass it is. I didn't want to talk too much during that because, you know, I just wanted you to, like, actually see everything. But, um, those guys look quite handsome. I hope you guys are ready to, like, see them. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna read to you what Color X Malice is. It's a dangerous shadow organization launches a campaign of fear and violence in the city of Shinjuku, pushing society to the brink of chaos. As a young police officer, Tasked with restoring order, you become target of an attack and have a poisonous collar attached to your neck. With the situation spiraling out of control and time running out, five mysterious strangers appear to aid you in your quest for the truth. So, if you like detective things, this is up your alley. <laughs> anyway, let's start. Quite excited. Um, what is your name? Does my last name stay emotional? Oop! I spelled my own fucking name. There I go. <laughs> hey Chico, finalize your name and tree. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This is a work of fiction. People and names appear in this work as are entirely fictional. This work has no relation to the real world organizations. I wonder why they always had to start doing that. Okay, they're talking too much. They're like they're talking too fast, not too much. I can't I can't read all that. I hope you're reading with it. What the fuck? Are they dead? Is that a Roman numeral seven? I was not expecting this gruesome stuff already. Thrown at me. Uh. Report of X day incident. Yo, that's a lot of typing. Or whatever the hell that sound is. <laughs> that was a lot of <laughs> slamming just keys. Report of the X day incident. April 1st. Oh, April Fool's Day. The Vita that started all this played on the giant screen facing Shinjuku train station. Oh, it played on the TV screen? Yo, that is scary. In order to restore Tainted Japan to health, the countdown to X Day will now begin. Dude, imagine seeing some screen! Our, uh, our objective is simple purge the corruption from the land and make Shinjuku the site of its rebirth. If you're afraid, then leave this land. We will not be stopped. Hey, at least they're giving you a word if you're scared, go. But know this, no matter where you are, you will be judged. There are no exceptions. Well, I mean, I'll be judged as a runner, I guess. <laughs> We will resurrect truth in this world. No longer will only the weak be persecuted. Some people appearing to be police officers are tied up in the video. <laughs> so police are f working frantically to trace the broadcast. Prior to the broadcast, a number of officers had been reported missing. The transmission's origin and the officers were never found and then May arrived. Another video showing the bound officers like the one in April was uploaded. Oh no. 
Thank you for waiting, everybody. The time for judgment is at hand. I don't like that line, the time for judgment, because that means, like, they're ready to kill. Wait, should I be playing this game right now? Like, cops and everything, is there a controversial in America right now? I feel like I'm stepping on some toes right now, and I don't think... This is all fictional! Alright, let's pretend this does not have the- we don't, we're not going through this IRL. As we mentioned before, the people here are criminals. In order to cure Japan, such people- such people must be exterminated. Judgment has been passed as a preview of X Day. This is not the end. Henceforth, we will continue to mete out justice to aid our nation's rebirth. Our name is Adonis? <laughs> Whoever they are, they quite sound happy. They, they're, they're really happy to announce this. Hear me well, listeners. Make sure that you remember this name, okay? May the sword become a paradise. Okay. Yeah, they're really dead. Gunshots rang out during the de declaration and the police officers were shot. Damn. The police traced the video to an abandoned building, confirmed one officer's death. However, the other officer's bloodstains were found. The criminal's trail and the missing officer's whereabouts are unknown. So one out of the four actually died, died, and the others just got hurt? That's kind of fun. Dude, was that a child? And that's a businessman. That's a regular dude. This incident began a chain of heinous, heinous, heinous crimes that continued into June, July, and August, and the number of victims steadily rose. Public scrutiny of the police grew harsh as, as time passed, and police efforts were fruitless. Yeah, I feel like, huh? I should have, <laughs> I should have played the other games and not this game right now. A Roman numeral indicating a countdown and a unique coin believed difficult to counterfeit were found at the scene. Markings on the coin led some to speculate that the one dismantled terrorist organization known as Adonis has been reborn. Oh, so it was an original cult before? And then on September 1st, exasperated by the repeated incidents, the government enacted extreme measures. Shinjuku Quarantine Act. Yo, this is- <laughs> This game was made a couple years back, so playing this now in 2020... It's kind of scary. This measure intended to trap the criminals within the borders in Juku obviously drew the wrath of the public. Demonstrations bordering on riots broke out, but the government suppressed these and stated it was for Shinjuku's safety. The government did not stop there. It also adopted unprecedented extra-legal measures. Repel, repeal of the Swords and Firearms Control Law. To provide citizens a means of defense, firearms are provided to all people over the age of 20 within Shinjuku. Wow. It was all under the pretext of self defense. Yeah, pretext. The firearms and ammo were all coded in order to quickly determine the shooter's identity whenever a weapon was discharged. Wow. Okay. The criminals have guns, so the people should be given equal access to equal arms. Thus, as an extra legal measure, the residents of Shinjuku District exclusively have an obligation to carry firearms. The law ratified behind closed doors was suddenly announced to the public. The police had to obey the government's mandate, and the unrest of the city trapped within Shinjuku swelled. Though upset, one could say that the citizens were now better suited to survive other incidents. This is a lot. It was obvious this plan was full of holes, but there was no turning back. On X day, all would be reborn in order for their utopia to become reality. Okay. It's getting, it's getting pretty juicy. Chapter zero. Okay. I want to speed run the four hours, but I don't think I can because I kind of want to listen to the voice actors. Hey, there's a little, there's a little dude down there. <laughs> oh, December 5th, 4 p.m. Yes, you have reached a SRCPL. Ah, 
また銃を持った男がうろついてるのよ。早く来てちょうだい。Well, she sounds scared, dude. Yeah, this is Miss Hoshino on the line, right? That man with the gun is loitering here again. Please come right away. Ah. Masunobu Mochida, 32? Hoshino, Mata Le no Ba san Karaka? Was it that granny again, Hoshino? Yes. So no kao wa. Mata Hoshikira de Tandaro. Oh my na, Kore de Nandomeda. Your face tells me she's hung up on you again. How many times is that now? Uh, I'm sorry, she always hangs up before I can say anything, so I couldn't tell her no. Yeah, like, uh, ma'am! Hangs up. Nika <laughs> Hoshino. Listen, Hoshino. Think about every time we've gone out there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Even when we follow up on her reports, it's always just her imagination or something that wasn't worth the trip out there. See, his statement right here kind of freaks me out. Because, like, yeah, maybe she's like the boy that calls wolf, but eventually the wolf will come. Wadubi de zuni yuarete. How many times has she sent us out on a goose, wild goose chase now? It certainly is true that we've gotten nothing out of any of her reports so far, but the way Shinjuku is a glossary, I'm guessing it's going to tell me what Shinjuku is, is now we can't be certain that it will be nothing again. Well, that's true. In any case, isn't the old woman just feeling uneasy? Until three short months ago, it would have been unimaginable for a common citizen to be carrying a gun like we are now. You're awful, you're awful calm about all this, Hoshino. If I didn't know better, I'd never guess that you've only been on job for half a year. Wow, I'm a newbie. Huh? Really? Yeah, when I joined the force, I was a lot more reckless. I was pretty much a daredevil after all. Even now, I think you're too bold. Sorry, I guess I should say hardworking. Ooh, I kind of need to know what that means. <laughs> now, now all I do in the SRCPO is take complaints and apologize for them, even when people are talking, people talk crap. CRCPO. This is the department of the police that the protagonist works for. This department was created in order to deal with the public calling in to report activity related to X day. So that's all we do? We're probably like, we're just like a call center about this situation? I thought when I opened this up, it was going to tell me what CRCPO means. Shinjuku something something police office. <laughs> I don't know, I'm guessing. Back then, the blood would brush to my head, you know? I've really grown up now. Mm-hmm. Anyway, there's no way that SRCPO would get to work the X-Day cases. That's a real shame. Machida is gazing into the distance again. He really wants to investigate those cases. Once the quarantine act was enacted, the Shinjuku station set up God, I wanted to burp. Set up a service for residents. We've been soliciting tips on the incidents, but we're really understaffed. Special Regions Crime Prevention Office. Oh, thank you. Or the SRCPO. I was wrong completely. <laughs> Compromises officers from many areas. We mainly deal with calls like the one earlier or unverifiable claims. And we also patrol Shinjuku to keep the pace. Mochida and I were transferred from the local station here, so we often work together. Shinjuku is a hive of animosity and distress, so it's not safe to go for a leisurely stroll. Usually when we get a report, we'll hear about how people don't trust the police. But it still looks like there are some people who rely on the police. You're right, we shouldn't keep that granny waiting too long. Let's go. Yes, sir. What if she... I hope she didn't die. I'm sure it's just another guy hanging around that creeped her out for no particular reason. But whenever you hear her out, that lady looks really relieved. Well, she lives alone, so I don't think she has anyone else that she can count on. She looks kind of scary, but sometimes she talks about her grandchild. The music's really loud. How do I fix this? <laughs> I'm sure that she's actually a kind person. 
前が相手だから話そうって思えるのかもな。The price seems that way to you when you're the one talking to her. 子供やお年寄りから話を聞くのはお前の方が適任だ。You're good at listening to children and elderly people. Well, that's good on me and very kind. I'm not me. I always want to cut them off and make them get to the point. Wow, you're a police officer. You should be more kind to everyone. I have to agree, Machida is pretty much exactly like that. Hey, Hoshino, this is where you're supposed to deny it. Why? When is the truth? 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 Oh, uh, sorry. Seriously, man, you're my subordinate. You're supposed to back me up. That hurts. Is subordinate like team member? Am I under him or I'm like the same level as him? I don't know. Machida is my superior. Okay, thank you. Wow, I love it when I ask him questions. The game gives me that answer. But he always treats me like we're equal, so I really feel like I can just be myself. Wow, I love it when I ask him questions. The game gives me that answer. But he always treats me like we're equal, so I really feel like I can just be myself around him. I thought the police force would have a strict pecking order, so that was a big relief. Though I'd never admit that to his face. Oi! Anta tachi! Kaysatsu da yo na! Suiven hima so ja ne ka! I'm over time. We're gonna stop right here for today? Uh. For this episode. How do you save this game? That's to take a picture? <laughs> X. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> X to save the game, guys. Don't worry. Um, it's gonna be quite hard because、uh, I really do not know when I've reached four hours because I didn't account for like the talking and then this. Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. You know, don't want to get in trouble.、Um, but anyway, again. There is a giveaway. I have two codes for this game. I will reach out and I'll, I guess I'll also pin a comment、um, saying that the giveaway is over or whatever. Because again, I don't know. I'm probably going to sit down and record this full four hours and then edit it all up. So if you want to enter the giveaway again, just comment below and leave your social media that I can reach you at either Instagram or Twitter. Because I don't want you leaving your email. <laughs> I don't, I, I have a bad feeling. People are just gonna spam your email with garbage. But yes, definitely tell me your Twitter or your Instagram username, and I will be messaging you a week from this video being uploaded. But anyway, thank you again to Access Games for giving me a code and giving you guys two codes. And just like, just thank you guys, because I wouldn't be here without you guys watching me. And if you guys weren't here, they wouldn't have noticed me at all. So thank you so, so very much. I'm extremely happy and grateful to be noticed by one of the gaming companies I've really looked up to. So thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.